Welcome to the class of microwave course. So today we are going to discuss about the introduction part of this microwave course. So in this we will discuss about its introduction like what is microwave, EM, what is EM spectrum and microwave frequencies bands and the evolution of microwave communication and then we will discuss about their difference between RF and microwave signals and the use of microwaves. So starting with the first that we will discuss about what is microwave. So these microwaves refer to EM waves that having a higher frequencies than 1 gigahertz and it means it lie between the range of 1 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz. Here the micro means small and the wave means signals. So this is the meaning of micro waves and its frequency ranges from the 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz that include the ultra high frequencies and the extremely high frequency band. So wavelength range from 100 cm to 0.1 cm and in RF engineering microwaves are used between the frequency range of 1 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz that means this frequency range is used in the purpose of transmission and reception of the information in RF engineering. So here these microwaves are associated with some of the features like to make it efficient to be used in transmission purposes the first one is the that these are travel in a straight line so these microwave signals are travel in straight line that means it is not affected by troposphere that is the upper layer of the earth atmosphere and it is not reflected as well as refract refracted by the ionized uh, region of the atmosphere of the earth next is it doesn't fit by the barriers in the surrounding like the mountain present of the large buildings so it is not affected by these barriers but sometimes some attenuations uh, occur in the signalings due to the trees and some other obstacles so due to the propagation characteristics of these frequencies large amount of information is carried by these signals and over to the remote communication sites and it doesn't require any cables to be connected to the link because its work over to the concept of line of sight so here the line of sight communication is used to send information the line of sight a clear path without any obstacles between transmission and reception point of the microwave signals Coming to the next part, we will discuss about the EM spectrum, that is the electromagnetic spectrum. So electromagnetic spectrum lies between the gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwave and the radio waves. So here these are the different rays that are coming in the electromagnetic spectrum. So these have the frequencies, the microwave and the radio waves have the frequencies of 300 gigahertz to 300 megahertz and 300 gigahertz to 3 kilohertz. It means these radio frequencies, uh, microwave frequencies come first than the radio frequencies. So these radio frequencies are used for in the purpose of transmission and reception as well by microwave have a vast uh, field of usage uh, uh, of this signaling. So coming to the next part, we will discuss about its microwave frequency band so the range of frequencies are defined by ieee nato and itu according to this band so here the uh, nato is a north atlantic treaty organization and itu is the international telecommunication union so these different organizations are uh, make uh, uh, define the range of these frequencies so first one is the l band which is defined by the ieee radar and it, it is used in the low earth satellite military services and the mobile communication as well as it is also defined to used by the gps and gnss technology so this l band is also defined by the itu as well as the nato coming to the s band the s band is used to by weather and ship radar and communication satellites and also used for the earth to space communication so here the nasa uses this band to communicate with the international space station and the next part is next band is the c band this c band is a ieee radar band and it is used for satellite communication weather radar system wi-fi and ism band application the nato and itu also define this c band 
hearing the next is the s x band x band is used for the radar application and it provide the higher resolution imaging for target identification and the discrimination and same way the next band is the ku band and the k band so the ku band is used for satellite communication in adverse weather condition whereas k band is the is having a part of the microwave domain as well as the infrared domain so the microwave domain is used for these radar and satellite applications whereas the infrared domain is used for the astronomical observation so the next are next band are like ka band q band so these two bands are defined by the ieee the rest of the bands are defined by the nato that is u band v band w band f band and d band so these band have also a usage in this radar communication satellite purposes etc so these this is about the microwave bands that are defined by the ieee itu and nato so next part is the evolution of microwave communication so the microwaves are as old as universe so they have been around from so 14 billion years ago so we are not going so far to discuss about the uh, evolution of the microwave so we will discuss about this from the back 80 years so starting from the uh, 80 years ago in 1930 microwaves used to connect uk with the france so here they connected uk with france using the microwave signals in 1950 the a and t uh, at and t bill stand channel microwave radio relay system uh, n us and it carries 5400 long distance calls per channel it means it support the 54000 calls simultaneously and as well as in 1950 it the another opportunity is also evolved that it start uh, uh, doing the television broadcasting over this microwave network the next part is in 1980s 1980s the rf system begins to be used and it have the higher capacity digital system and it easily carry raising traffic demand and in 1980s it provided long uh, hold uh, long haul communication that is the cellular telephone uh, communication so this is the evolution of the microwave communication so it is used from a very long time and it is also still using in the communication purposes and in radar and in satellite and astronomical to uh, study the astronomical behaviors so coming to the next part that is the difference between the microwave and rf range so microwave is just a subset of the rf range and rfs are commonly used for the amplitude modulation and frequency modulation transmission while microwaves are used in wider application like heating high bandwidth data transmission system so the microwaves are used for transmitting power from one point to another point in the form of line of sight so this is the difference between rf and microwave signaling the next part is the usage of the microwave so microwaves have a large field of usage uh, starting from the communication purposes to the navigation to the heating appliances so let's discuss about first by the communication purposes so we are using the micro frequencies in transmission and reception of a large amount of data and network so this is used for the communication purposes basically it is used for the line of sight communication the next one is the navigation purpose so global navigation satellite system gnss include the chinese bureaus that is the american global positioning system and the russian glo naws broadcast navigation signals so these parts are uh, using this microwave frequencies this organization using the microwave signals to uh, use uh, that are defining the navigation uh, purpose so it lies between about 1.2 gigahertz and 1.6 gigahertz so these are using these frequencies to define the navigation uh, to uh, give it a navigation purposes or used as a navigation application the next is the radar that is the radio location technique it is uh, used in a radar system so here the radio waves are emitted by transmitter and it bounces off an object and returns to a receiver along the that it allows the know about the location the range the space and the other characteristics of the object that to be determined so it is used in the radar system like this so radar is used as air traffic control weather broadcast navigation of the ships and speed limit enforcement 
Coming to the next part that is the radio astronomy. So microwave emitted by the astronomical radio sources like planets, stars, galaxies. These are studied in the radio astronomy. And it is studied with using the large dish antennas called the radio telescopes. So the world largest ground based astronomy project to till date is consists of more than 66 dishes and built in an international collaboration by the Europe, North America, East Asia and the child. The next part is the heating and power applications. So a microwave oven passes microwave radiation at a frequency near to 2.45 gigahertz and through uh, and through fixed causing dielectric heating uh, primarily by absorption of the energy in water. It means it is used in the heating purposes that is in the microwave oven. So microwave heating is used in the industrial purposes for drying as well as in the uh, uh, for making the food products etc the next one uh, next last part is the spectroscopy so the microwave radiation used in electron paramagnetic resonance that is epr and esr spectroscopy in expand region this new technique provide information or unpaired electrons in chemical system such as free radicals or the transition metal ions such as the co so these are used for studying in the chemical uh, um, in the chemistry purposes that is the spectroscopy Spectroscopy. So these uh, so microwave have a la large number of usage from the communication purposes to the heating application or to the radar system. So this is all about the introduction to microwave signals. Thank you.